only going about 15 miles per hour. I'm in my neighborhood right now, but I'll try another road over here. Uh, course on snow and ice, uh, locker or tires or four-wheel drive won't help you stop, so needs to stop over here. I don't have anti-lock brakes on my truck either. So I'm going to turn left and see how it is. I'm giving it gas. I'm turning. Um, I didn't didn't really feel any understeer or oversteer or anything really. It felt fairly normal, just a little more resistance in the steering wheel. I'm going to turn right and this road looks like it's been plowed but there's still a thin layer of snow and ice on it so now that I'm out of the fluffy stuff maybe I'll be able to feel something different but I'll go ahead and turn right there's a little sharper turn uh, seems to handle fine but I'm gonna turn left onto an ungroomed kind of dirt gravel road here uh, so I'm giving a little more gas into the turn felt fine. I am in, once again, I'm in 4 high, D2. Um, obviously, so far, just driving in a straight line, nothing to worry about. Uh, I'll get down here and try and do a little U-turn at the end of this road. You know, I kind of actually like the way that it handles in the snow, being that having the locked front end, both tires are continually trying to stay centered and pull you forward. Uh, to me, it just seems kind of stable. If I start, start to slip, or I'm purposely trying to like slide some. It kind of has a self-centering effect, which I think honestly makes it easier to stay in control. You're constantly going to be trying to, uh, you know, straighten out the way the wheels, the wheel is turning. So I don't see that as a limitation of the Laka. I actually feel like uh, it's fairly predictable so far. So I'm coming to the end of the road here, and try and do a little turn around here. And here's one other lonely soul on the road. And I'm going to try and do a tighter U-turn with the locker right here. Once again, I'm going fairly slow. Um, it sounded like a faint ratcheting maybe, I'm not sure if that's ratcheting or it might just be the sound of snow and ice slipping on the tires, it's hard to tell, nothing too crazy. So, like I said, I'm kind of purposely weaving here in the snow and I've never felt like I was really losing traction, I'm going 25 miles an hour weaving back and forth in some deep snow and ice. I don't see how this is going to cause trouble in the snow unless, I mean, unless you're just really used to the snow and you're used to driving really fast in it, but like I said, I'm on a dirt gravel road covered in six to eight inches of snow going 25, 25 miles an hour right now, and that's not, that's about as fast as I would ever want to go on this road, regardless of lock of gears or not, so, so, if you really whip the wheel, uh, you do get the understeer, I think, as people has reported, but like I said, I'm going straight right now, and if I just whip the wheel, it takes a little bit for it to finally bite and turn, but as far as a normal turn, I'm coming up at another intersection right here. As far as a normal turn, just turning in the road, I'm giving it gas, I'm turning it, taking it nice and slow, and you know, I have no problem controlling where this truck goes. Here I'm on the main road again, and I'm going 30 miles an hour and whipping it back and forth a little bit. And honestly, I would never do this without four-wheel drive. And you do get understeer. Yeah, okay, I'm turning the wheel, and I'm still not turning as sharp as the tires are turning, but that's just due to the slickness of the road, in my opinion. I don't think it's really due to the axles. And once again, I'm going 30 miles an hour on an iced-over road. And, you know, it, once I turn the wheel back to center and, like, point where I want the wheel to go, I mean, 
the, the self-centering action of both tires being driven really kind of straighten it out really easily. So as long as, as, long as you're not an idiot on the road, uh, I think that you should be fine with the lockup.